<laughs> Let's see how long that lasts. Um, what the fuck? A cockroach and this nice apartment? I've been thinking about it a lot, actually. There's something about the money that makes it feel wrong. So I will continue to do what I feel comfortable doing for free, which is answer your phone and keep you up to date. That's all I asked for, but I want you to take this. All those words were nothing. She took the money anyway. What about his lovely neighbors actually? Hmm? The dog and his wife? Last we've seen was Sally catching Donna and Sylvie. Sylvia? Whatever. And now they're completely gone. Dropped out of their lives. Without explanation. At least Pete's happy again, huh? As far as I can tell. How'd it go? I got him. Good work. Good night, Bonnie. Good night. <laughs> oh, Michael, very nice work on Butler. Stan, we're going to need renderings, color. Michael looks like a serial killer. <laughs> From. I don't know, but they're not for you. Dude, who says those are for you? I didn't see a card. Oh. Happy Valentine's Day, Shirley. And happy Valentine's Day to you. Those are her flowers. <laughs> So her fucking flowers. How stupid are you? Oh. I need you to relay a message to Ted for me. Tell him that I got his message and there's nothing he can do. The business is gone. Oh yeah. Good job. Good job embarrassing yourself. <laughs> Hello, Dawn. Hello, Shirley. You shouldn't be taking a break right where you are. I'm not. I'm getting her coffee and I'm taking my time. What was that joke? They switched names? Are people confusing them here? <laughs> Why didn't you say something? It was too late. I tried. You tried. I really did. Mm, not hard enough. You want those flowers so bad, you'll take the trouble that comes with getting them back. It's not right. Well, I have two bosses. She'll probably fire you because she embarrassed herself already. Doesn't she know Don's not working here <laughs> anymore? I'm looking for my dad, Donald Draper. He's not here. Where is he? Did he change offices? Perfect. Yes. Look, honey. He's doing home office now. <laughs> is Joan here? Her office is right down there. You know, I think everybody's at lunch. <laughs> what an asshole. Why wouldn't he just tell her? Have a nice day. <laughs> Here, I want you to have these. It smells like an Italian funeral in there. <laughs> I would tell Detroit we got this opportunity and I would ask for their blessing. Look, when I brought in Chevy, I got their very own Mikey O'Brien laid. Sorry, sweetheart. And it wasn't easy. Sorry again. <laughs> Where were you? I was at the office. What? I wasn't feeling well. I left early. My roommate's mother died and they let us go to the funeral, but I lost my purse. I'm sorry to hear that. You mean the purse or the mother? The dead one? I'll drive you. Uh, no, it's okay. You're not feeling well. <laughs> And you're a liar. What's the note supposed to say? Just tell the truth. I think you need to help him with that. Where the hell were you? I was getting your perfume. Draper's daughter showed up. I have to call him. You'll have to call him. Okay. 
Well, don't bother apologizing to me, I guess. Oh my god. The fuck? Seems like they're trying to force him into the bad guy role. <laughs> Sally came into the office and she talked to Lou. <laughs> I wanted you to know that she might be on her way. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> I want my own girl. I skipped my lunch to buy your wife perfume. If you had been thoughtful enough to get her a gift when I told you about it ten days ago, I would have been here. It's not my problem. None of this has anything to do with me. <sighs> I'm sorry if I said the wrong thing. Kill him. Someone. When she comes back from the ladies, have her hand over the keys. <laughs> You're full of it. That is just the kind of weakness that got us in this position to begin with. Let me just go to Detroit. I'm sure it has something to do with Bob or my feelings towards Bob, but it really doesn't. In the end, that's our best route to new business. It disconnected. <laughs> yeah, five minutes ago. <laughs> he takes it light with two sweet and lows. Always put through his son, Earl. Um... These three lines are Lou's, and this one is Mr. Draper's. Maybe I should get a pencil. Maybe you should get a brain. Do you know how hard it was for me to go to your apartment? I could have run into that woman. I could be in the elevator. She could get in, and I'll have to stand there, smiling, wanting to vomit while I smell her hairspray. Why does that even matter to you? Do you like Megan so much, or what? I know it's silly, but could you please throw these flowers away? Those are my flowers. They're from my fiance. Since when? Since this morning. You have a ring on. We all know that you're engaged. You did not have to embarrass me. Grow up. Oh, fuck off. <sighs> 10 a.m.? Thank you. <laughs> A black girl? At reception? No way. <laughs> I'm all for the national advancement of colored people, but I do not believe they should advance all the way to the front of this office. <laughs> you sure you don't want anything? I told you. I'm not hungry. The reason I didn't tell you I wasn't working was because I didn't want anyone to know. I didn't behave well. So they made me take some time off. Can I get a Coke? Oh, all of a sudden. Well, I'd like Shirley off my desk. <sighs> what? There was an incident today, and I'm not comfortable with her on my desk. I shouldn't have to tell you more than that. All I know is that today was a work day, and I didn't get anything done. And whose fault is that? Oh, this is so fucking annoying. Peggy is at her bitchiest ever. That new guy, Lou, is a male bitch. Oh. I don't want to see any of that shit. There's an office open upstairs. It's for an account man. Not the head of personnel. What do you mean? Let me know what you decide. Good night. I guess he means you can become an account woman, which you so desperately try to be for some reason. What's this? I got your patty melt. Didn't she just ask for a Coke? Can you see the car from here? Yes. I want you to finish your meal. I'm gonna go out to the car and get it running. Then you walk out. <laughs> it was suggested that I move now that I have some accounts. Jim suggested it. Do you disagree? Does it matter? <laughs> Not really. Nobody gives a shit about anyone's opinion here. Happy Valentine's Day. I love you. Man, what was in that coke? 